Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello, people. How are we doing? It is another Tuesday Workshop Skin Checks. Now, if you aren't fully aware of what I do during this video, I take a look at all of the most recent uh, Rust Workshop Skin submissions, and, well, we'll discuss with our financial perspective whether we should potentially invest into certain skins or, you know, just remark how nice it is to see certain skin collections continuing. So i just bring you over to here. Here we are. Got this nice... Yep, so I uploaded this this video earlier today talking about how you also can set up a followed authors list and be in the know and be prepared to potentially jump in and buy out some skins if well let's take for example uh, some new core pieces appear for a new collection so speculation and anticipation we do that pretty much every single week we're always looking out for potential profit to be made so if you also want to make your own followed authors list based on all the top picks mr tgg makes every single week with his top pick lists i mean we'll just show you that right now can't we so hop over to here click this we have all the most recent TGG top picks, and of course today he has uploaded a new one. No video unfortunately, but yes, you might be already familiar with some of these skins because I already talked about them in a previous um, Tuesday Workshop Skin Checks video. So we've seen these already, we've already talked about these. So all the skins that you see here, we've already talked about a week or two ago. Of course we had Christmas in the way. But all the skins that we're about to talk about today, yeah, see these, get a nice quick look, a nice quick look. All the skins that we see here today won't be in a TGG's top picks list until next week. So, yeah, that, that's the format, that's how it works. Uh, there's a lot of rules that can be explained, um, but let's just stick and focus with this. So, we have a lovely batch of new skins to talk about today. I will be going through deployables, then tools and uh, tools and weapons. That should be... Oh, no, I've named it wrong. Ah, I was so good, so good up to this point. Oh, well, if that's the only mistake of this whole video, that's going to work out well. I hope my volume's nice and good. In fact, let's just double check. So take a look at my bench real quickly. Yes, I'm just double checking my recording stuff, so it seems all right. Right then, gentlemen. So... We want to make sure, so take a look for all of these names, try and see if there's any new people that we should probably consider following, is there anybody else that seems new to me, is it the usual batch, the usual suspects, it definitely looks like that's the case, so congratulations to all of you for getting your skins through this part of the stage, let's see if they potentially get accepted for the Rustle Rotation, the last Rustle Rotation of 2022, which is in two days time, this Thursday. So, let's see if that happens. Right, so, shall we get started? Shall we jump in and start talking about deployables? Let's go. So, starting off, we have a batch of furnaces. We have, right here, the Neon Sulfur Furnance. <laughs> Furnace. So, uh, Mr. Decap, I might have to zoom in a bit more here. Yep, Mr. Decap right here has, looks like he's trying to start off a deployable collection. So you know how earlier this year, uh, Sill created a uh, doors collection. Well, what we see right here potentially could be the beginning of a batch of uh, furnace skins. So we might have one for ore, you know, high quality. You get the idea. Maybe just charcoal. So yeah, that is something that could potentially be made. Let's see if Face Punch approves of it. And I guess during the daytime, it just glows if in, even if it's not turned on. Um. Nope, doesn't look like that. It has to be turned on for it to all light up. Is that the quality? Is that the skin that you hope to see in the future? Well, as we will say throughout all of this video, if you like what you see, please consider going to the Rust Workshop and voting yes or no. You can potentially make a difference, show your support, let face it, and potentially the skins that you like more could potentially be accepted because of your vote. So show your presence and support your skin creators. So good uh, job there, Mr. Decap. Let's see if you do end up getting a new collection. Let's now move over to the Melted Cheese Furnace. Spelt correctly, oh yes. Made by Mr. Redrex. So no, uh, no words here to read from. It is quite literally a big batch of melted cheese. Where's the nachos? Oh, come on, buddy. 
Honestly. <laughs> hey, it's still okay. But we 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 literally just had a pizzeria furnace. So I think I think we probably might not see this being accepted. If this came before the pizzeria furnace, I definitely would think it had a it would have a better chance of being accepted. But yeah, I yeah. It, I'm not saying it can't. Maybe it will be accepted. It's literally melting. <laughs> it's literally just melted cheese on a basket. Cool idea, but yeah, we've literally just had the pizza rear furnace. Now I'll move on to... Actually, real quickly, I just need to make sure no sounds are coming through. Yep, just double checking. Sorry about that. I just needed to make sure I wasn't recording any sounds coming from the laptop. Right, so now we're on to wooden doors. We have the Attraction Wooden Door, made by Y9J and 34633. That's a very nice name you got there. <laughs> so yes, we have a glow-in-the-dark wooden door. Let's get a good look at that. Very nice. Very bright at night. Let's get a good image of it, what it's supposed to look like during the day. Ah, it's a carnival. Right, it's, 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 it's the fair. It's the fair games and whatnot. Um, sorry, that's my British English. Um... Uh, carnival games yeah that's what you call it in america so yeah uh yeah no that looks cool i like that that's why nine j if i recall you were making like a carnival collection um you had a furnace and whatnot didn't you let's go take a look uh da -da -da -da, just before all this what did we see oh yeah it started with the furnace didn't it started with the furnace yeah he's trying to make an attraction collection yes 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 all right okay cool cool so, all right, maybe that could be, could be the beginning of the collection, or maybe we'll see the furnace being accepted this week or next week. You never know. Um, so let's see what happens there. Then we have the... T okay, this is cool. Right, so this right here is literally a twig door for your twig bases. Yeah, you have twig bases, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, some people probably would be making more twig bases if they have the twig door. I could potentially see this doing very nicely um, in terms of sales and whatnot, just for the, just for the gimmick of it. So, uh, Freddy and Kruger, <laughs> looks like you've got a pretty interesting idea that but could that might potentially be accepted. There's no guarantees, but he also made a second version. And well, we've been talking about this recently: transparency with doors. What you have right here is little gaps that you can see through. Obviously, sticking with the uh, whole uh, twig walls and whatnot, the whole gimmick of that, that where you can see through it ever so slightly. Well, the door can be see through, seen through as well. Um, you know what? I'll just say, yeah, I like it because a lot of people are going to be making twig bases because of it. And well, you know, <laughs> it's a fun gimmick. Yes, this is for the people that don't take the game too seriously, right? It's just to have fun and you and do a whole bunch of stupid things with. So, um, if that pushes the idea of doing this, I guess it's probably bad in a sense of it goes against what you're meant to be doing in the game, which is reinforcing and staying safe. This is just being silly. But, you know, maybe it's nice to have a few silly things here and there. And that's a very fun idea. So maybe that will be accepted. It's a cool piece of work there. So good job there, Freddy and Kruger. Now we are on to the sheet metal doors, starting off with the Sea Treasure sheet metal door, which glows in the dark. Let's get a good look at this during the day. This is made by Mr. Wirecat. Very nice. Wirecat and Q-Cell. And then we'll just... Uh, oh, get a good look at that. One second, gentlemen. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. It's a good thing I don't have my camera. You would have seen me do a very stupid face. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a very nice-looking octopus type of face. I guess Cthulhu. I guess you could say it might be Cthulhu. Something like that. But it's a very cool skin. And here we are with, like, a cloudy background, a bit hazy. Yep. Stares at you in the night. <laughs> so that's a cool skin let's now move on to the green screen metal door which glows so this is made by Kelmo Legend uh, <laughs> yes I see graphics design is your passion very nice cheap and affordable green screen just for you tee hee um, it does have a very nicely positioned glow in the dark it seems so only glows in the upper half me and Mr. Micro have been talking about that a lot recently. Let's just get a good confirmation. Yep. Right. Okay. You know, that, that, that could work. Yeah, that might work. Let's see if that potentially gets picked. And let's get a good image of it during the day. Yep. All right, then. Okay. 
It's not too insane with the idea of it, but the theme and whatnot, sure. Yeah, no, no, that, that can work. Let's see if that potentially gets accepted, Mr. Calmo Legend. Right, then we'll move on to Motel Door. Um, <laughs> it looks like this is well positioned lighting as well. So at night, only this area seems to glow. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if you actually look at it in the game, the whole door sort of glows ever so slightly. Um, I mean, it would, in the theme of it, everything, all, all the other parts of it probably would reflect the light that this emits. So I guess, yeah, the whole door probably will be glowing ever so faintly. So, yeah, okay, no, that's a fun idea, made by Mr. Stepan, Stepan's Workshop. No description or anything, so nothing to read there. Let's get a good look at this during the day, maybe. Yep, here we are. That is the other way round. Uh, Le Tom, yes. Come to the Le Tom. <laughs> well, that's the uh, crux of the sheet metal door. It doesn't flip. So, yep, motel, motel. Oh, very nice. Then we have the volcano door, glow in the dark, look at him, look at him, he's angry, but why, why is he angry, why, I can't zoom out enough, there we go, <laughs> right now let's zoom in a lot more, so, this is made by La Cremp. oh yeah, he's got a collection of this doesn't he, the uh, volcano, yep, 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 duh, the volcano, I meant the furnace, it, only the furnace has been accepted, and it's selling very nicely at the moment, by the way. But yeah, he's tried to turn it into a collection before, wasn't successful. Maybe the door will be accepted. It's a fun idea. It's not too insane. Nothing crazy in terms of colour scheme or theme. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to it. Looks fine to me. All right. So let's see if that gets accepted, Le Cramp. Then we're going to move on to the Strawberry Door. Yes, looks like we're getting our five a day, gentlemen. This is Mr. Multi R Hat and Marco. Is it Multi R Hat? I think it is. Um, multi name, tee hee. <laughs> so, we have a ever so lovely, delicious looking strawberry sheet metal door, gentlemen. Don't you, want to well, don't you want to stay nice and healthy inside your base? Well, you need to have some fruit in your life, so maybe the strawberry door is what you need. Now, does it glow? He doesn't say if it glows. Does he have any images to show if it glows? See, this is a bit awkward because is the light being shone onto this? Or is it emitting a faint light? I the fact that he hasn't said it is or isn't glow in the dark leads me to believe it isn't glow in the dark, so... If you feel like getting some more fruit in your life, please consider voting yes or no for the strawberry door. Then we are moving on to sheet metal double doors, and we've got quite a lot of them this week. So we are starting off with the Gemini metal double door. This is made by a DDK. It glows in the dark. I mean, of course, it's the first thing we saw in there. And then, uh, yeah, so um, get a good look at this, gentlemen. Sorry about that. So, red on the left, blue on the right, looking at peace and together. You can see all the netting here with the wiring and whatnot. So, cool. Oh, yeah, no, I think it's perfectly fine. So, yeah, if you like this, please consider voting for it. But it's not the only one because we also have a double door animal uh, sheet metal door, yeah, sheet metal double door, yes, the animals collection, the animal door collection is continuing, Mr. Mishka has returned with Mr. Demon, medium but fairly reliable level of fortification for a double door can hold off several aggressive beasts, including humans, yes, tee hee, so yeah, gentlemen, this is another, it's another transparent uh, wild animals door, so, will that be accepted? The wooden door was accepted, but maybe because wooden doors aren't super reliable and that was that was acceptable in terms of what um, Face Punch considered. Like, we also saw last week the uh, armoured door. So, if we see the armoured door picked ahead of this, does that likely mean that they don't want transparent sheet metal double doors? Or, I mean... We've, got, we've had a lot of sheet metal double doors in the past, but that would be the first transparent one. That's marketable. We literally just had a char charitable rust skin that had um, see-through windows. And that was very cool, but that cost $10. <laughs> I'm d I don't think these would cost $10, but would it be allowed? And yes, of course, Wild Animals is turning into a collection. Started off with a wooden animal door just before Christmas. During Christmas, we saw this appear last week, the armoured am animals door. And today we see the double door, the double sheet metal door to be precise. Now, 
is it just one window that's uh, transparent and the other one isn't? I, no, they're both they're both transparent. So I guess there is an option to have it either transparent or not. It's up to Face Punch. And yep, there are some comments. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. So it's just the usual, yeah, this is awesome type of comments and whatnot. So best of luck to you, Mr. Mishka and Mr. Demon. Let's see if that gets accepted. Gentlemen, if you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. But fret not, we do have one more. Sheet Metal Double Door skin. It is the Welcome UV Double Door. So this is made by Vitalik and The One. And if I recall, this is actually... Uh, I think it's like your second skin of this collection. Let's just quickly double check in a minute. But first of all, as you can see with this GIF, during the day, happy. During the night, oh, it's evil. <laughs> now, that's a very clever idea, I think. Very good use of the glow in the dark. Very smart, I guess I could say. So, yeah, fun idea. Purely based on the gimmick. But, like... I feel like it's a more realistic and approachable idea in terms of um, in, in the actual Rust lore. They could actually make this on the island. So, yeah. All right. Okay, Vitalik, let's just quickly go and see. Have you made some skins very recently? That was exactly the same as there. I swear you had a garage. Yep, there it is. It's right there, the garage door. Literally the exact same thing. Happy, mad, happy, mad, happy, Mad. <laughs> so that could potentially become a new collection, but that skin was submitted at the very end of November and it wasn't accepted. So will this one be accepted? Let's wait and see. So that's all of the double sheet metal door skins. Um, if you liked any of them, please consider voting yes or no. Right, now let's go take a look at the all-seeing armor door. We are now looking at armor doors. So this is made by Shino, Zolodno and Mama. And we've got a GIF. We've got a couple of GIFs here. Ooh. Okay. Let's go back over to here. Let's get a good look at this armoured door. So, uh, you, dead. Ah, I don't want to be dead. I want to be alive. Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm all upset now. But yeah, you can see here the front. You can see here the back. All right. You've got a little bit of lighting up the front top there. All right, let's just hop out the sides. So, during night time, this is how it looks. It's got lighting there though, that's not helpful. I need to see it just by itself with no lighting. Uh, but there's light. <sighs> yeah, this isn't helping. It, do it also doesn't say if it glows. Alright, so yeah, this is awkward. I can't tell if it glows. Oh wait, no, the lights are there. <laughs> Okay, right, it does glow, because the lights are actually part... I'm an idiot, sorry about that. I was looking at it thinking, oh, no, guys, why did you have lights right next to it? No, oh, no, no, I was correct. Oh, I, got, uh, <sighs> I need a bigger monitor, <laughs> just so I can see a bit properly and whatnot. But, yeah, um, I'm led to believe it does glow. I'm led to believe it does glow. It would help if they actually pointed it out here, but, yeah, it looks like it does glow. Let's not dawdle on this for too long. If you like it, please consider voting for it. Let's now take a look at the next armoured door. And I have reason to believe that, yes, this also glows in the dark. This is made by Cubist and Mothcat. So, let's just get a good look at this. And, yep, it looks to be a specifically positioned glow in the dark where only the upper half glows and then it seems to slowly pan off at the bottom. Very nice, very cool. Let's get a good look at this, uh, yeah, right there. So you can see that. A very, very realistic approach for an armoured door. Yep, 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 yep. And can we get a good daytime pick? Yep, right here. Very cool. Yes, that would keep you nice and secure, wouldn't it? Right, let's now take a look at storages. So, the wood storage box monster bullet. It glows in the dark and he looks, uh, he looks a bit, uh, he's something. <laughs> Why is he licking a bullet that's being shot to the side? That's not very smart. Well, it is made by Mr. Sean Mick, Ari Specter, Ari Dot Specter, and Emil. Oh, yep. Oh, look, get a good look at this gif. So you can see it during the day, and then it turns to night, and it stands out very nicely. Very nice piece of artwork here, gentlemen. I just don't know what it conveys. <laughs> Crazy, mad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no description to read, so if you like what you see, please consider voting for it. And then I believe we have another small box. Yes, we do. So, 
this is made by JJ. It obviously glows in the dark, as you can see, the first image. So let's just get a good look. Seems to be just a various batch of patterns, and um, I think, yeah. <laughs> if I were to zoom in on just this, do we see anything notable? I think it's just various patterns and colours and whatnot. It looks cool, I just don't really know what I'm looking at. That's the problem. <laughs> Neon noise, wood storage. Yeah, I guess you could say the whole design of it is like noise in terms of various crazy looking colours and shapes and whatnot. Okay, I, I guess I can accept that. Right, so after the small boxes, we have large boxes, large large wooden storages. So, yes. Um, do you remember uh, Mr. S314 Noza? He made some designs for a sheet metal door. And it looks like he's turning it into a collection. So if I just look over to here, yep. Last week we had the flower doors. Now we have the flower storages. Very nice, bright and colourful. Yep. So that's like the whole design. And now he's placing it on various deployables. This week it is the large box. So maybe we'll see one of them being accepted soon. If not, then well... Unfortunately, that does kind of happen every now and then. Someone comes up with a very cool looking idea, but none of the skins of the collection they build up gets accepted. Maybe, maybe it won't. But you know what can influence that? Gentlemen, please consider voting yes or no for the skins that we show you throughout this video. If you like what you see, please go and find it on the Rust Workshop, and please go and vote yes or no. So, very nice and colourful there. S31 Noza and S314 Noza. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I have to say it literally. <laughs> and, so that was the non-glow version. This is the glow-in-the-dark version. And it is very, uh, very bright right there. I think that should be a bit dimmer. I think you should make that a bit dimmer. It's just a bit, it's just a bit too much, especially at night time. Make it a little bit darker, and I think that would work out very nicely. Alright, so now we're going to move on to talking about the 2D loot box, large wood box that glows, made by Dark Schneider, a large wooden box skin with a cell shaded style for the final item of 2022, okay, so let's get a good look at this, yep, let's just zoom out a bit, nope, that seems to make it bigger, okay, this hasn't worked out very well, <laughs> right, 100%, that should be fine, so if I just get a good look at it over here, you can see it during the day, very nice. And then let's make it night time. And yeah, it stands out like that. Not too bright, but it seems okay with me, you know. Definitely not as bright as the previous one we just saw. So, okay, yeah. A more simpler approach, but hey, that's what some people like and that's what some people enjoy. So if you like what you see, please consider voting for it. Let's see what happens with you, Mr. Dark Schneider. Okay, now we're going to look at the portable fridge. Zen Labs portable fridge, to be precise. Mr. Legacy has decided to make a Zen Lab skin. So, it looks to be a cooler. I hope it's ketchup. Um, <laughs> okay, sure. It's got a, it's got a couple. Don't touch my steak. Diet days. Okay, well. Um, Guess he likes to scribble all over it, but yep, seems to be like a water cooler style of uh, not not water cooler. Hey, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, cooler storage. Ah, we don't really have them in the UK, but in America you do. I just don't know the name of it, but you get what I mean. It's those things that you put your drinks in to keep them cool during the hot summer days when you go outside. So yeah, good job there, Mister Legacy. And let's now take a look at the hunting chest. It glows. This is made by a little ranger. Hunting in grey clutch. Oh! Oh! Alright, do you remember? We had the AK not too long ago. Uh, no. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. No, I got it mixed up. Yeah, I re okay. I remember this door. That looked really cool. It's not what I thought it was. It's not what I thought it was. But, yeah. Do you remember that very cool looking wood carved door that a uh, little ranger made like a... A month or so ago, yeah, he's now turning it into a wooden door collection. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> sorry, he's t he's t trying to turn it into a deploy. Uh, I've lost my words. Let me just take a real quick drink. Right, okay, so 
Um, yeah, he's trying to turn it into a deployable collection. That's what I meant to say. And, well, just get a good look at that. Look how nice it looks. A very nice and different approach in producing a new type of skin. It's not super colourful, but the design of it, to make it appear it's been all carved out out of wood and whatnot, very cool. You have my support. I like that a lot. And let's see if that potentially gets accepted. And the last deplorable skin of the week that I wanted to show off, and I am not surprised to see, it is another tempered deplorable skin. It is Milio Frito's Tempered Large Wood Box. Gentlemen, I am not at all surprised to see this being introduced, and it, it, I, I'm starting to see a bit of a routine. Last week, Milio Frito, he made um, frog cosplay skins. This week, Tempered. And next week, wouldn't be surprised. I, I get the feeling we might see another Tempered Deployable, but I also wouldn't be surprised if we potentially see some frog cosplay uh, armor skins being put out, uh, submitted next week or the week after. So why wh why would he want to make uh, tempered deplorables right now? Well, it is literally um, almost New Year's, and during this these next few weeks, it is usually when Rust has the most people ever playing. It, uh, January and February tend to be the months that have the most people playing compared to all of the other months. And with loads more people playing means there's probably a lot more people that are going to notice this in the Rust store and consider buying it. So what we saw recently with the likes of the tempered garage door and the sheet metal door, they sold very nicely at high prices and it just seems like a perfect opportunity. Everything's lining up ever so nicely. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets picked, accepted, in the Rust store. Sells very nice, and Face Punch makes a load of money, and Mr. Milio Frito makes a lot of money. Let's also not forget his good friend, Mr. Saka de Semilias. So yeah, um, yeah, not surprised at all. Milio, please, please make some double doors. Please! <laughs> or a... Uh, um, Water purifier, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. So, yeah, um, very nice to look at. Um, sold very nicely. It is in demand. Wouldn't be surprised at all if it gets accepted. I really do think it's got a... It, it, it's almost certain, all right? But what we should point out is there's no, nothing is ever certain with these skin submissions. Uh, these are the rules. However... As I go idle, real quickly, just to double check my sound is still alright. Yep, I hope I've been alright to you so far, YouTube. There is one exception to that. There are a set of skins that will always be accepted, no matter what, due to a very specific reason. And that is bombshell skins. Gentlemen, we are now talking about weapons and tools, or tools and weapons. I'm starting off with AKs for this very specific reason. So, this is... TGG skin and there is a rule to this every week as we said TGG produces a top picks every single week a curated list of skins that that, that then will be put towards the rust devs and every three to four months Mr. TGG he will produce and submit well he will have someone help him and uh, uh, he will submit a bombshell skin and it will 100% be accepted this is definitely going to be accepted in two days' time. And it's very awkward because there's several AK-47 skins that were submitted this week. But no, this is the AK-47 skin that will be accepted this week. This is guaranteed. So if you don't know, um, go look at all of the previous bombshell skins. And you could probably get a... T you know what? I could just look it up right now. SCMM.APP. So we'll just let, wait for that to load up. So yeah, let's get, just get a good look at this. So I don't know who specifically made it, uh, uh, brought to life by the talented Ideal. So Ideal was the one that made this one, but yeah. So basically what happens is this is how uh, TGG um, gets supported. So all the funds will go to him. I'm pretty sure he paid uh, the skin creator, or the skin creator probably gets a portion. I don't fully know that, all right? I, let's just move on. But yeah, all the uh, sales and the money would go towards TGG. So every three to four months a bombshell skin will be submitted and it will definitely be accepted and if we go over to here if i were to go by uh, bombshell enter smm nice and helpful so yep yeah, um that okay so this is december time 
And then if you go over to here, four months ago we had the Bombshell Garage Door, four months before that we had the Bombshell M39, and f about four months before that we had the Bombshell LR300, and about four, mem four months before this we had the Bombshell Roadside Gloves uh, and Boots, and then about four months before that we had the L96. You get the idea. Every three to four months there is a guaranteed Bombshell skin that will be accepted, so keep an eye out for uh, April or May time. So yes, this is TTG's Bombshell AR. Get a good look at this gentleman. It's got his um, logo, the uh, warhead. Big teeth, big tongue. Looking very angry. <laughs> now, does it have a helpful aim sight? Let's just see. And red tip, red tip, red tip, red tip. Very nice, very nice. So nice red tip, ever so helpful. Got a big star right there. Looks like it's all bolted down and whatnot. Very nice. Now, um... <laughs> AK-47 skins. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Now, uh, in terms of uh, finan potential, financial potential profits and whatnot, AK skins aren't very reliable, are they? Uh, we've, uh, we, we know about that a lot. Over the past few weeks, we have seen many... Me like For the past two months, we've seen like six AK-47 skins being accepted. This is a problem, and it also perfectly portrays the problem with AK-47 skins in general in terms of, well, there's far too many skins. And that's a problem because with so many options, um, people, aren't people aren't loyal to their new AK skins. There's definitely going to be another one coming out within the next week or two. And the very second they see the next new one, they dump the old one and grab the new one. And when another one new one appears, they dump the old one. And, yeah, you get the idea. There's... AK skins tend to immediately drop down to around a dollar, and uh, yeah, that's the unfortunate pattern. But what we do know is 100% this will be accepted, so voting for this doesn't really matter. <laughs> and unfortunately, that means all of these other AK skins that we're about to see, they won't be accepted this week, and potentially maybe not accepted the week after the week after that. We don't know, but it we can't rule it out. So, Mr. Michael, Mr. CD... They have made the banger AK. Let's get a good look at that. You've got the little hand pinging the bullet, and he's going pew. And then you've got a big bang right there. A very colourful, fun uh, collection that we've seen being quite successful recently. They've got a bit of a write-up here. There was always something interesting, unusual and special to be found in street graffiti. This is what inspired us to create a skin with an image of chaos where bullets fly in different directions and punch everything in their path. Be careful, because one of those bullets is already flying at your head. Art by CD. Very nice, gentlemen. So, yeah, the banger collection continues. But, unfortunately, it ain't happening this week. <laughs> well, you never know. They might have two AK skins in the same week, maybe. Uh, you can't rule it out, but most likely, no. You're only going to see the bombshell AK. And we now are looking at the Wasteland AK-47, made by Hewak and McQuery. Uh, doesn't seem to have any description here, so let's just try and get a good image. Yep, good look at that. So, maybe we're not going to see this this week, but maybe we could see it next week or the week after that. Gentlemen, if you like some of these AKs that we're looking at, please consider voting for them. Yep, now do we have an aim down the site? Do we have a name down the site? I should have looked at the other one to see if there's a name down the site image. Nope. Gentlemen, please remember... With weapon skin submissions, please always show an aim down the site. And does it have a red tip? Has a red tip. Okay, good stuff there, Banger AK. Um, unfortunately, I'm not seeing an aim down the site image here. Oh, do we see a, a special colour for this tip? No, nope, looks like it's just black. Okay, well, that's not so helpful. Let's now move on to the Arctic Camo AK-47. Made by 9K. Yep. So, no description. Let's just get a good look to the side. Yep. All nice and camoed up. Now, do we have an aim down the sight image? Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Show me. Here we are. Now, does it have a different coloured tip? It's got white. Mm. Mm, okay. I guess we'll have to look at it in game if it potentially gets accepted. But yep, that is the Arctic Camo AK-47. Now we're going to move on to Breakfast AK. Hmm. I've literally just seen so many skins that were all based on food this past Christmas. And now you want me to eat even more AK skins and what? Ah. P ah. How do I pronounce your name? <laughs> P-Y-H. P-Pi. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P
Heartstopper, a fresh waffle topped with powdered sugar, fresh oxums, maple syrup and mixed berries, served with a sunny side egg and delicious bacon. Bacon. How did I muck that up? 99.99% organic. No glow. Made with 100% love. Let's see if there is an aim down the sight image. It's green. It's green. No, it's blue. Okay, no, that's fine. It, at least it stands out compared to the gun. And blue would stand out in pretty much most environments. Okay, that's cool. Right, so, gentlemen, if you are feeling quite hungry and you need a tasty-looking AK-47, well, get a load of the breakfast AK-47. Right, now let's go take a look at the Electric Griffin AK-47, made by Zinc and Eichfinier. No glow. Okay, cool. So, let's just get a quick look. Does it have a helpful aim down the sight image? It does. Seems to be ever so slightly red. Or brown. I think that's going to be helpful. And then we'll just scroll to the left. Get a good look to the sides. Yep. It's a, it's a electric eagle. Yes. It is. It's going gonna, it's gonna to shock you. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> oh, where'd that come from? Yeah, you can see how he developed the art and whatnot. Very cool. Right, let's move on to talking about a rock skin. Yes, the Mandarin has returned. So, this was submitted during Christmas. Um, I guess it wasn't supposed to be a Christmas skin. Happy days. The orange material has been changed. Modified leaves. Mr. Scropin. What are you up to? Are you trying to sneak fruit? Delicious looking fruit into the Rust Island. Well, I guess we can accept that. So I think this was originally supposed to be a Christmas skin. Um, mandarins are apparently a uh, Christmas fruit that's given away during Christmas. I completely forgot that was a tradition, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that's our only rock skin of the week. It is the version 2 of the Mandarin. So if you like what you see, please consider voting for it. Do you want to rack, uh, whack fruit? round random people's heads or just throw fruit at people you know that could work how has nobody made a tomato a rotten tomato and it's fitting because you can throw it at people that, that, that that's perfect i've given you an idea mr scropin make a tomato version now we have a grub eoka so this was made by ideal quite some time ago um but wasn't accepted uh, I think that was made like back in May time, so we're talking well over six months ago. Well, that wasn't accepted unfortunately, but now he's making a version two. So, do you want to <laughs> hold a big wriggly uh, grub, Ioka, in your hands? <laughs> I'm thinking of the movement and it. it, it uh, <coughs> <laughs> Look at him! He's all lumpy and there. But, you know, we haven't had any Yoka skin accepted for quite some time. Maybe this is the one. And we've got a bit of a talk here, so let's, uh, let's just breathe and let's go. Be a grub, my friend. Grubbing from nothing to full gear in one shot. Grubby Yoka, that's wearing a camping mat on his back. Perfect for your next adventure. Version 2. Improved normal and texture maps. Very nice, Mr. Ideal. So, gentlemen... Do you want to be a grub, holding a grub, two grub, and steal loads of delicious looking armour pieces and weapons from unsuspecting people? You quite literally have the grubby ochre right here in the workshop. Please consider voting yes or no for this skin. Now we're going to talk about the yeah, Videodrome Satchel Charge. This is a version 2, it glows in the dark, and it's made by Shedmon. Oh. Uh, it rotates, gentlemen. <laughs> just, it rotates. Get a good look at that. It rotates. It's a television. Sorry about that. Now, can I get a good look of it in the dark? Here we are. Yes. All right, that's cool. We did recently see the likes of the... Um, the uh, glow in the dark. Oh, what was it called? Glow in the dark. Uh, from hell. Sexual charge. That's it. That was accepted. Would this also be accepted, or is it a bit too soon? Hmm. We shall see. We shall see. Now we're going to talk about the aberrated jackhammer. So we did just see a uh, 
Nutcracker Jackhammer being accepted. Very clever idea, theme, and, I, and well, you know, it quite literally, <laughs> it's teeth chatters and whatnot. Um, I don't think this is going to be accepted. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Uh, but Aberrated is actually a collection, so this is made by MKE. A playful jackhammer skin with chromatic aberration style. There is not any text on this skin, and future skins for this set will have no text as well. And yeah, he's made a sap, he made an L96, and I believe... Oh, what was this again? This was the uh, M39, so yeah. If you play CSGO, you probably, it, it's very similar to the aberrated orp that we have. So let's just get a good look at this. Kind of looks a bit 3D and wavy. You know? When you stare at it long enough, you kind of see that, don't you? So, And you definitely see it when you stare at that arrow right there, don't you? So clever idea in terms of like style and whatnot. But quite, we've literally just had one accepted. And we don't see many Jackhammer skins being accepted. So maybe, maybe we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, so now we're going to talk about... The Parrot Double Barrel Shotgun. Get a good look at this. It is nice and colourful. Wow, good look at that. All the feathers. Blue, then yellow, then green, then orange, and red. Wow. So, yeah, we've been a uh, bit overwhelmed in the... Uh, well, we've had a lot of Double Barrel Shotgun skin this past year. We have only one water pipe and one pump shotgun skin so far this year, but we've had like 11 double barrel shotgun skins. It's ridiculous. But I don't blame people for making them, because if they keep being accepted instead of the other shotgun skins, then, you know, why wouldn't they consider making a double barrel shotgun? Uh, let's just see who made it. It is Mr. Morphus and Mr. Micro. So it doesn't seem to be a description to read out. Let's just get a good look at this during the day. Now let's just get a good look at it aiming down, but of course you cannot texture the uh, you cannot texture the uh, aim sights for double barrel shotguns. They're always going to be the same, but we want to see what the back looks like. Bit colourful. You can see how some of the paint's rubbed off and whatnot. So that's just how it is. And at night, spectacular. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't glow. Right now let's talk about. A pump shotgun! Yes, Mr. Robstar and Mr. Diaz have decided to make the military pump shotgun. We have only had one single sh pump shotgun skin accepted so far this year, which was the recycler pump shotgun. Well, in my hands right here, well, technically uh, Robstar and Diaz's hands, we have the um, military pump. Yep, so that's with an aim sight. Maybe we should... Uh, I want just the uh, default... Yeah, it seems yeah okay. So let's uh, let's just get a good look at it from the sides. So yeah, military's been quite successful this past year. Um, it's been getting a lot of weapon skins accepted and whatnot. Will we see it potentially get one just before uh, twenty twenty two ends? Because last week we did see an uh, we did see a bolt action rifle. This week we see a pump shotgun. I would very much like to see either of them being accepted. Um, Pump shotgun still doing fairly all right, being paired with the slugs. Slugs did get a bit of a weird trade off in terms of it if its damage doesn't seem to have been bad too badly affected. Still gets used a lot. Um, obviously it has his uh, strengths, so yeah, it's awkward. Do we have a nice aim down the sight image? We don't. I'm sad. No, wait, no, whoa, 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 red tip. I think. Yep, that is a red tip. Splendid. Right, so we do have a red tip. We do, we do, do, do have a red tip. Okay, that's good. Right, so um, I believe that's all of the individual weapon skins of the week. So if you liked any of those, please consider voting yes or no for them. We're now going to start talking about python skins. Starting off with the swamp python made by uh, Mr. Hermit. So let's get a good look at this from the sides. It's got a very... Tame, dark green and dark brown colour. you got a bit of doodling on the side here. That's quite interesting. But yeah, it's like it's not too insane in terms of like colours and whatnot. Okay. Aim down the sight image. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Gentlemen, please, please, please give us an aim down the sight image. That's the best we're going to get, isn't it? Uh, 
yeah, please consider doing that in the future. All right, let's look at the next python. Let's see if this person does it. So we have the reptile python here, right here, made by 1SQ and a Saint. I like this skin. Hope Helk will like it too. Oink, oink. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> okay, sure. Um, oh, aim down the side. Yes, perfect. It's got yellow. And you've got a little face over here. <laughs> so, uh, looks to be just a yellow tip. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. We can, we can accept that. That's fine. It should stand out in most environments. Oh, that should stand out a little bit better. So, with the green background right there, you can see that yellow tip right there. Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, so if you like what you see, you know what to do. Let's now talk about the sap skins. We have a continuation of the Obsidian Collection right here, made by Mr. Neville112. Okay, oh, no description. Okay then, so um, does this glow in the dark? If you recall, we had a bit of a fuss about, um, was it the revolver? We had an obsidian skin accepted a couple months ago, and it ever so slightly glowed in the dark. And, well, when you aim down at night, you could ever so slightly see it. It was not enough for it to be paid to win. Uh, there was a bit of talk about it, but, yeah, I, I think this is going to glow, but ever so slightly. The issue is, there's no images of it at night time, so... Maybe it'll happen, but the ripples, the ripples of what you see here, the, the, the edges and whatnot, they glowed, and this is probably going to glow as well, so, yeah, aim down the sight, no, great, just great, alright, well, guess I'll move on to the next sap skin, we have the papier-mâché sap, and, uh, <laughs> okay, well, what's in the news, um, you're dead. Dead. <laughs> right, so this is made by Hashaki. And do we have an aim down the sight image? No. Why, Hashaki? Why? Aim down the sight, please. Okay, so I'm, from what I can see here, I think it's just a black tip, so that wouldn't really be too helpful, would it? But, yep, um, kind of getting the um, Franklin skin vibes from CSGO. But, yeah, this is just newspaper. Okay, well, of course, it's paper mache, isn't it? Okay, well, that's that. No aim down the sight image, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's now talk about the escape or die sap. Right, didn't we talk about this a week or two ago? It doesn't glow, that's nice. But uh, Ronnie Free Nines and Wet QA. Didn't we see this skin, like... I remember... I remember the image of, like... Walking underneath one of the... Yeah. Did they resubmit it because they thought it might have got screwed up because of the Christmas weeks? Uh, he wouldn't be the only person. Last week we did see that a lot, didn't we? We saw a lot of resubmissions. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, uh, okay, cool, cool. So let's get a good look at that. Does that... It's a red tip. Splendid. By day. Day. And yeah, you can see like the design of this. It seems to be a case of you've... I don't know, shipwrecked onto the island and you're just keeping track of all the days by scratching on the gun and whatnot. And maybe you've gone mad. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> all right, then. Let's now, let's now start talking about some stone tools. We have the Marine Tools Stone Hatchet. We will also show off the pickaxe in a bit. So Got Time has decided to uh, make some stone tools. Yep. Uh, just seems to be like a sedimentary sea rock of some sorts with some star starfishes there and just a nice pattern if we look closer sedimentary is the word right it's when like rocks just kind of have various bits stuck to it or what i i i think i i, I don't know i'm i'm losing my mind <laughs> so yep yeah, you got some barnacles and whatnot very very nice and well let's go take a look at the pickaxe as well is there anything special with the pickaxe? Uh, doesn't seem to be. Does not seem to be. Nope. Just, yep, it's just the same type of rock with some starfish and wood. Okay, that's fine. Driftwood, I guess, is the wood. All right, then. And then we have some regular tools. We have a pick color ID pickaxe and color ID hatchet. So, um... Okay, that is, uh, 
Oh, uh, what's the theme here? It's it's like those old 3D graphics. What's it? Ah, uh, Snake Eyes, you really should have written down in the description the reference of what this is. I vaguely am looking at this and remembering something, but I cannot remember, and it's doing my head in. <laughs> Gentlemen, skin creators, if you have a like, if you have like a vague reference or joke that is the reference to your skin, please write it in the description. I'm not a mind reader. Oh dear. Or if you're watching YouTube right now and you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I know what there is. Please consider writing it in the comments. I am. I've lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. I, I, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, what is it? <laughs> I, I, it's not toys, it's, what was it? It's something. Oh well, we'll have to move on. So yep, this is made by Snake Eyes and EX. So if this is something that you'd like to uh, potentially see being accepted, please consider voting yes or no. Now we're going to start talking about some hunting bows. We have the leopard hunting bow right here, made by Loddy and... Oh, Lottie Jr. Okay. Right, so, um, oh, we've got a uh, video. Oh, I love videos. They're nice. So if we just make it 1080p and give us a good look, Mr. Lottie, what do we see? It's a very nice, furry-looking, comfortable-to-hold hunting bow. Pow. Splendid. Yes. That looks nice, mate. Okay, then let's potentially see if this gets accepted. So if you... Uh, if you want to hold a bow like this, if this is the type of skin that you need for your hunting bow, well, you know what to do. Consider voting yes or no. Right, then we're going to take a look at the Artifact Hunting Bow. This is made by Eupor. Yep, so I guess he's, I guess the theme here is like um, old arrowheads and whatnot from the past. So, yep, yep, yep. It's got that old, like, sheen to it. Very discoloured and whatnot. Okay, yep. Get a good look of it in game. You can see, yeah, I get it. I see it. That's cool. That's cool. Got some of the sheen rubbing off. Now, obviously, it's not the most colourful of ideas, but I like the theme to it. And you explained it just by providing a nice, easy image. Just very easy to figure out what he was aiming for just by looking at that. So you got rusted metal and paint and uh, 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 worn out paint and whatnot. And yeah, I get the idea. That's cool. All right, then. And then I believe we have another hunting bow. We have <laughs> a, a much more colourful and silly bow. This is made by uh, Alex Valera Work. And it uh, looks like he's going for anime. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. YouTube. Do you need a cat girl? Do you. Do. You. Need. A cat girl in rust. Well here's your opportunity. Right here. You are staring at a hunting bow. That, that could. <laughs> what have we become? Okay. Well. Yeah, very nice and colourful, silly gimmick. <laughs> it's going to get a load of votes, isn't it? Oh, no. What have you become? Think about yourself. <laughs> oh, they're already voting for it, I know they are. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, then, let's just move on to the crossbows. So, we have the Bone Breaker crossbow made by Horamiel and... Uh, what's that? Berubrick. Bone Breaker Collection. Uh, I think this is the third iteration. I swear I have... Yeah, I swear I've seen Bone Breaker Crossbow before. So I think this is like the third iteration. Alright, nothing wrong with that. You're allowed to submit um, a skin as many times as you want until it gets accepted. You just have to wait four weeks in between submissions of the same skin, if I recall. So, yeah. All right, that's totally fine. Um, get a good look at this from the side. Oh, wow. Okay, it's like literally a bone and it's all wrapped up with barbed wire. That is, uh, what's the word, gnarly? Yeah, <laughs> that looks cool. All right, then. Not super colourful, but damn, buddy. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So if you like what you just saw there, please consider voting yes or no. Or maybe you might want to have some grime. Yes, it's a crossbow covered in grime. Yes. So this is the grime collection. Hasn't had a skin accepted so far. 
but Mr. Bed is going to keep on trying. Uh, basic texture, add grime style art, and spin around with bed. Twirl, twirl, twirl. It's like an aeroplane. It's doing a trick. We're going around. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Splendid stuff. So this is version one. Let's go take a look at version two in a second. I'm not sure what makes version two special. Wait, does this glow? It doesn't say if it does. Does the other one glow? Oh no, the other one's got some pink. Yes, we've now incorporated pink. Do you like pink with blue? Yes. Well, this is the skin for you. Splendid. Right, so we've got like... It's basically a whole batch of paint just, just been thrown on top of it. Or a uh, slime or... I don't know. I really don't know. But yep, yeah, let's just go look at that. So yep, yeah, grime a crossbow. If this is the skin for you, gentlemen, you know what to do. Vote yes or no. And now we're going to talk about SAR skins. We've got a lot of SAR skins this week, starting off with the Tile SAR. I believe this is a continuation of a collection that we haven't seen for quite some time. So, does everybody mem remember the likes of uh, Tile Hammer? God, that's going back like three years, isn't it? Tile Kitchen Tile Hammer. Now, who made that? Let's just quickly click this. It was made... No, that was made by someone else. So this is something we've seen before in the past. Um, eventually, these skin creators are going to end up like coming up with very similar ideas. So this is made by Jessen. Yep, very nice. Jessen and Xenia Paris. So let's just get a good look at this over here. So we've got cracks in it. Ugh, I don't want that. Please fix it up and return it in a much better state. <laughs> nope, it's very cool. Nice. I like the patterns and whatnot. Very nice. I wonder if the tip's going to be a different colour. So we'll need, we, we'll, we better... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Green. Splendid. Maybe not super helpful in green environments, but... Uh, oh, I like the patterns here as well. That's a nice looking skin. All right. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. I like what you've done there. But we, you do have competition. So what we also see is the Gothic Warlord Tsar, continuation of the Gothic Warlord collection made by Mr. Novarom. We've got some gifts right here. You can see it being reloaded and whatnot. Looking very nice. Well, let's go take a look at the sides of it. Got the skull. We've got the engraving. We've got the metal. Yes, very nice. Now, do we have an aim down the sight image? Oh, bless you. Oh, yes, he does. Right, so you've got a slight red tip. So you've got red dot there, red dot there, and a slight red tip right there as well. So that is helpful, and that should be helping out a lot of people in most environments. So good stuff, good stuff, Mr. Novaron. Keep up the good work. We could potentially see that being the next skin of the Gothic Warlord collection. Now we're going to take a look at the likes of the Dead Souls Sar. Dead Souls has been quite successful recently. Um... There have been a fair few submissions this past 2022. We've seen deplorable skins. We've seen an AK skin. Could we potentially see some more weapon skins being accepted? We recently showed off the uh, custom SMG, didn't we? And, well, now we've got a SAR in front of us. So, could we maybe see some more Dead Souls? The, uh, the votes are in your hands, gentlemen. Vote yes or vote no. So, this is made by KVA and Mr. Sand. Let's just get a good look at that. Aim down the sight. Does it have a helpful, helpful sight? It has a green tip. Green tip right there. So that should be helpful. A light green tip to be precise. So that should be helpful in most environments. Uh, maybe not the green environment. In fact, can you spot the light green? Yeah, you can. You can spot light green out of... Yeah, that, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. All right. So that's cool. Good stuff. And now we're going to talk about the Royal Kitsar. All right, then. So, what do we have? It is... Didn't you make a royal skin just the previous week? Hang on a minute. This is made by Oasis and Schumer. Yes, royal kit AK was last week. That's it. Right, so maybe one of these will be accepted. Not that AK, though, because we have Bombshell AK this week, don't we? we? We've already discussed that earlier. Yes. So, do we have a nice, helpful aim down the site? Let's hope we see that in a bit. You can see it on the back there. Aim down the sight. Aim down the sight. 
Aim down the sight. Aim down the sight. Aim down the sight. Come on. No. No. You have one job. <laughs> you have one job. Right. Let's see if I can see if there's a helpful... Uh, it looks like it's just black. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Right. No red tip. Unfortunate. Well... Let's see if that potentially gets accepted. Gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please consider voting yes or no. Now we're going to move on to talking about the Cyber Code Tsar. Mr. Eros, you've been very successful recently. You have two collections currently in the pipeline, which tends to get quite a lot of skins accepted. That being El Diablo, and of course, what do I see right in front of me? The Cyber Code Tsar. So, we know every time you aim down the sights, you have a little skull, don't you? Now... If you just aim down the sights of one of your images, we could have seen it properly. <laughs> we aim down the sight, please. <laughs> so uh, that seems to be a, uh, a bit of a brighter green on the yeah, it's sort of. I can't tell because you didn't aim down the sight and produce an image of it. But yes, you can see the skull right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Regardless, I will be showing this off in the Saturday Skin Showcase, and like I said, we've seen some. We have seen some success with this. Could we potentially see the Sar? We were unlucky to see the Thompson not being picked, didn't we? So, all right then. So yes, Eros. Let's see if that skin potentially gets accepted. Let's now move on to talking about the LR three hundred skin of the week. This is the only one, a Chroma Flare LR three hundred, made by Master Alpha right here. It does not glow. Changes colours based on angles and lights. Really now, maybe this gift that you have will. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Are there some other skins that do this? Interesting, interesting Chroma Flare. I like it. I think that looks cool. Maybe, uh, you know how Black Gold was the uh, pretty pricey skin of the year? Maybe this is the pretty pricey skin of the year. Maybe this is the start of a collection that could potentially have a whole bunch of weapon skins be ex being accepted every other week. Maybe we'll see some Chroma Flare armor being accepted down the line. M it could be. Gentlemen, you know what to do. If you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. Oh, bless you. Bless you, sir. And nice aim down the sight image. It's pure pink. Oh, God, it's so bright. But it's helpful in pretty much every single environment. A big, bright pink aim sight. That's helpful. Yeah, okay. That, uh, uh, that's cool. That's cool. I guess that works with the whole colour scheme and whatnot. And then you see it like right here. We saw a bit of yellow. Saw a bright blue. Turquoise. Then greens. Then some purples. And then pinks. You don't really see that much pink. But you definitely see it. Oh, when you aim down the side. Okay, that's cool. So all of the colour scheme is in the uh, name as well. Clever, clever. So let's potentially see if that gets accepted, Mr Alpha. Now we're going to talk about the one MP5 skin of the week. It is the Carnivore Hunter. So, yes, this is looking pretty nice. What is this? This kind of looks like a Halloween skin, but some gore, blood, bandages, and some freaky looking monster uh, things. Yep, we can still have these accepted uh, any other t um, We can have them accepted outside of October, is what I'm saying. So, this looks pretty cool. I like what I see. The darkish pink with the light bluey green colours seems like it. In theory, you'd think it'd be a bit of a colour clash, but for what you've made here, Looks cool. You've got like the demented faces over here. It looks like blood and some bits and whatnot. Okay, okay, that's cool. And then we'll see right there what it looks like in game. That looks cool. That looks cool. Did you aim down the sights? Yes, he did. Oh, this man. <laughs> Thank you. We've got a nice a bright green aim sight. This is made by. Debsky and Destroy007. I wouldn't dare to enter that thing's cave, but a challenge is a challenge. Oh wait, is it someone's hand in there? No glow. Work in progress at the end of the picks. Yes, you can see how it all developed. Very nicely done, Mr. Debsky. And Mr. Destroy007. Bit wacky, but you know, a little bit wacky doesn't hurt. And uh, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would appreciate that being accepted. 
We did see an MP5 skin being accepted fairly recently for Christmas, but uh, should be alright. Should be alright. And, well, are we going to potentially see some more skins of this in the future as well? I thought you liked making banana skins. What happened to that? Huh? Unbelievable. This man does not want you to eat potassium. Alright, so now we're going to end this off with the weapons and tools, talking about the Retro Thompson. Um, so this is made by MDE. Now I can't remember, we have had some retro skins before, but that was Retro Wave, wasn't it? So let's just refresh my brain. We had Retro Blast, yes, we had Retro Wave, Retro Wave, Retro Wave. This wasn't made by MDE, was it? Mm, no, that was made by Hetsum TM. Okay, right, so... Is this the beginning of a new retro skin collection? Is this something you want to see, YouTube? Is this some... Oh, wow, that actually does look really nice. Oh, I like the colour scheme. I like how the edges are... Yeah. I think you've done a good job here, MDE. So, if you don't know, MDE is the guy that made Blackout, Whiteout. He made Emerald. He also made Cold Hunter. This guy, he does a pretty good job making some pretty in-demand skin collections. <laughs> Gentlemen, if that gets accepted... I have reason to believe that he potentially might be going all out and trying to turn it into a nice, fully-fledged collection as well. So, if you like the potential in that, maybe you might want to vote yes on the Retro Thompson. And, you know, you know what I talk about uh, a lot, especially recently when we saw the Recycler Thompson not too long ago. Thompson skins, very reliable investments. So I, of course, would like to see a new Thompson skin being accepted. A very nice aim down the sight image. It's a nice bright blue tip. Perfect. Perfect. That's going to be helpful in pretty much every single environment. So very nicely made, my good friend. Could we potentially see that accepted? Well, only those that are watching right now can make the difference. Vote yes or vote no. So I'm just going to quickly idle once more. I hope you like the image of my bench there. I use it for my streams. So don't forget, if you ever want to visit my streams, when I return home, uh, the link to my Twitch is in my description for YouTube videos. So let's just double check, make sure my volume is perfectly fine. It is, it is. Right then, gentlemen, shall we start talking about the clothing and armour? Let's jump straight into it. We have the version 2 of Copper Jacket. Which is a bit confusing because I'm pretty sure this is technically version 3, but uh, I'll just stay quiet. Let's take a look at the copper jacket. So, this past year we were seeing quite a lot of copper skins accepted, didn't we? But then after a while it just suddenly stopped. If you have seen my speculation and anticipation video, my Rust Economy 101 speculation and anticipation, you can see how I went super crazy waiting for the tier 3. It wasn't coming, it took forever, but it finally appeared. And that is a great video to explain speculation and anticipation in regards to uh, core pieces of clothing and armour. So don't forget my YouTube. Uh, hopefully it does help you out uh, for several things and whatnot. But let's just stick to the point. Copper Collection, it... It's all there, and we, we potentially might see some boots or a jacket or some other various bits and pieces hopefully being accepted in the future. Uh, we don't know. Um, this is the third attempt, I believe, for the copper jacket. Mr. Duck has tried and tried, tried to get it accepted. Um, I don't think anybody would say no. Uh, maybe the people that have the old hoodie. Do you remember the policeman's hoodie from a long time ago? Maybe they're upset. <laughs> Maybe they're voting though, but it looks cool. Copper collection was nice. Different colour collection and whatnot. I shouldn't dawdle for too long. So yeah, if you like it, please consider voting yes or no. Now we're going to take a look at this superhero collection. We've got a superhero balaclava and poncho, and it does have a bit of a problem. So uh, earlier this year, <coughs> earlier this year, we had a very cool looking berserker poncho, didn't we? Which was... It was shaped to look like a, um, not a cape, but a, ah, what was it called? You know what? I can just type Berserker and find it here. So let me just show you. Someone made a very, very cool looking Berserker poncho. Uh, was it a jacket? No, it was a jacket. Just click anyone. Go to workshop. Go to Berserker collection. Yeah, Vase. Sorry about that, mate. I forgot your name. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, cloak. That's it. Someone made this. Uh, I hope you can see this properly. So, here's the back of it. And here's the front. They cut out all the front part 
of the uh, the jacket to make it look like a cloak, like a very big cape, basically. Um, it wasn't accepted, and we kind of pretty much know why. Uh, I don't think this is allowed because it kind of it it's easy to confuse people what you're wearing, which is a problem. So if you saw this guy from the distance. You probably wouldn't think he's wearing a poncho, would you? Very fun idea. I will point that out. It's a very clever, fun idea. But if the skin doesn't look like the item of what it is, then I don't think it gets accepted. It's uh, it, 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 it can trick people, and that's a problem. So let me just take a quick drink of water. Cool idea. So this is Mr. Uh, Algo. Yep, Algo and RZA 3D. I like it. I think it's cool. But what I, I, I think... I think Face Punch needs to consider making their own cloak item or their own cape skin or whatever. Um, if people want it, then I guess you've got to keep asking for it. But yeah, a cloak item, which can then be skinned and then loads of people can make skins for it. Yeah, you get the idea. But I don't think cutting away or make, or rather making ponchos and jackets transparent to make it work uh, i don't think it's gonna be allowed so cool idea but i just wouldn't have my hopes up let's now talk about some tier three collections so we got the waterway face mask made by gbg and trigger oh no don't tell me you're running away from jpeg collection no gentlemen stick with the jpeg no well, okay let's just let's talk about what they've made here all right cool looking fishy Aquatic themed collection. Uh, you're quite literally a fish, are you? With all your scales and the images of the fish, the waves of the water, the anchor on the back. Okay, that's cool. It is kind of green. I think that is a green skin. So, I made a bit of a fuss recently how uh, we recently saw the likes of the Frog Cosplay and the Elite Crate uh, Tier 3 uh, armour. They were green skins. And throughout all of 2022, we've seen a lot of skin submissions of green armour and clothing. They weren't accepted. And me and Mr. Micro, we were thinking, right, maybe Face Punch just doesn't want to accept any more green skins. Because, well, the, the advantage of camouflage and whatnot. Um, but then they accepted two green skins in the same week. Now, we've come to learn, and uh, you can see you can see the Saturday Skin Showcase for that week as well. We came to realise Frog Cosplay is very bright. You're not going to be camouflaged wearing that, okay? But the Elite Crate was very successful. Like, it's actually very good. If you're trying to look for a budget uh, Forest Raiders, Elite Crate is the way to go. So, yeah. Um, I don't have my hopes up because of that. It's green. If you made it, like, blue, maybe you'd have more success. We did see the uh, Skull Killer Collection being accepted this year, didn't we? So, yeah. It is a bit blue, but it is... It's like turquoise. Ah, it's confusing me now. <laughs> Maybe it'll be accepted. It's not too green. So, yeah, okay. Uh, you know, let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. Because you do have competition, don't you? We also have the likes of Turtle Face Mask and Chestplate. Made by Vlek. So, what do we have here? Turtle Power. <laughs> the one thing I don't like is the face mask. I wouldn't have... I'd remove the mouth. Remove the mouth. If you remove the mouth, I think people would take it more seriously. But, uh... Oh. Hoodie and pants? When was that? When was that? Have we accidentally seen into the future? <gasps> oh, I think we've seen too much. I guess next week we're potentially going to see some, uh... Hoodie and pants being made as well. Why has he got just an image of... Uh, wait, let's go take a look at this. So you got the chest plate there. That's nice. Oh, wait. What, 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 wait, what? Okay, now I'm confused. What? So you see that there. And you see the back here. You see, you see the back there in the front. Why does he have this image of some hoodie and pants when it's clearly not for hoodie and pants this week? I'm, I'm a little bit confused, Vlek. Now... What I do know you have is a transparent version of you. Again, why do you have this image? I. It's nice to see a little Easter egg for what potentially will be uh, introduced next week. 
but you should really focus what you have for this week. Um, so yeah, uh, it's it's a more transparent uh, version of the armor. We literally only have the shell and the front part. I don't know what the front part of a turtle body is. The belly? I, I... <laughs> but yeah, that is... So if we just go back over to here... Do you see how you have like some green bits and whatnot there? Well, if you go over to here, it does not have the green outer parts. So, yeah, which one do you like more? You know what to do, vote yes or vote no. But this also has competition because it's another attempt at the target tier 3. So earlier this year, Mr. Slanostra and Mr. Retro, they were successful in getting their Tier 2 accepted. Very nice. However, their attempts in making hoodie pants and Tier 3 was not successful. They weren't accepted. And I am sad. So, this is, uh, of course, a continuation of collection that has already had um, core piece. So, this is where us speculators now need to start, potentially start anticipating could this potentially be accepted and we know what happens we know what happens when a new core piece be, uh, gets accepted all of the uh, currently available core pieces will go up in price what does that mean that target kilt very likely will be going up in price by a lot by a lot and we'll take a look at that in a minute so this is why this is the main reason why i do these tuesday workshop skin checks this right here gentlemen is the financial potential you see a version three of this now let's weigh the options we've already had a version two okay let's go let's go even further back we had an original one wasn't accepted we had a version two after the version two of the tier two was accepted wasn't accepted do you honestly think this version three will be accepted Maybe, um, but the financial, the potential financial gains, if this is accepted, will definitely cause that kilt to go up in price very comfortably. And then, if we do potentially see the hoodie and the pants at some at some point in the future, well, uh, the hoodie and the pants would cause the, the the kilt and the tier three to go up in price as well. So, yeah, um, core pieces. That is where you the the best profits tend to be, the tier three, the tier two, well, mostly the kilt, and of course the hoodie and the pants. Now, it's good that I talk about that, and gentlemen, please consider voting yes or no for that if that interests you, because there is another uh, continuation that I will like to talk about in a bit, but I don't think I have it right next, so let's talk about potentially the beginning of a new collection, but I have my doubts with this. So, Mr. Verona, after having several weapon skins accepted for his predatory collection, has now decided, you know what, I think I'm going to dabble into doing some hoodie and pants. But there is a bit of a noticeable thing with this. It's just mostly black. Mr. Verona, I don't think that's a clever idea in terms of we've had a lot of black skins this year. And... With so many, uh, with so many black themed skins recently, I think Face Punch wants to stay away from it for a while, much like they did with the green skins. If I were you, I would have made this a bit more orange. I can see, I can see you've got like the orange stripes around here, but it shouldn't have been like restricted to just the sides. I think that should have been all over. It should have been like a very faint orange. It could have still been dark, that's fine, but I really do think you should have made all of it like tiger striped. That's just my opinion. It's a, I like what I see. But the problem is, yes, we've had seen we 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 we've just literally seen Dragon Rage, and Black Gold this year. All right, if that gets accepted, I'm just gonna have to eat my words, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, um, I would add a bit more. I would add a bit more just to improve something to make it more unique and individual and make it stand out a bit more. Because your your design is nice. But you really need to add more for the clothing and the armour. Don't tell me you're literally going to do the exact same thing for the armour, alright? I'm just giving you a more realistic uh, answer based on the context of what we have. We've had Dragon Rage and we've had Black Gold and I really don't think that will be accepted. Now, you're not the only person to try and get another black themed skin to be accepted. Like, we also did fairly recently see Apostate. Now, Apostate had a bit of colour and, a, you know, it was unique. But, like, it, they, it, Face Punch only accepted the hoodie and the pants, didn't they? Um, we did see the tier 2 and the tier 3 armour being accepted uh, 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 submitted submitted, but it was never accepted and I feel like I feel the reason why is because it is just a bit too black 
and we've already recently had some black skins. I don't blame you for trying because a lot of people do want to have what they think would be great camouflage for night time. Even though at night you can't see anything, ha ha ha, but yeah, um, yeah, I would consider adding more to that. Make it more unique. We don't have many orange skins, alright? We don't have many orange skins, Mr. Rona. Why not try and go for the orange colour? You can make it special, I know you can, so please consider doing that. Having a nap, mate, it looks cool. And I do like what you've done here in terms of the style. I like the zips. I like the knee bits here. Yep, so good. I like it. But I feel like it just needs a bit more in terms of the colours. So, other than that, if you like what you see, please consider voting for it. But now I want to talk about a certain something that I'm very happy to see. Gentlemen, gentlemen, it finally happened. Frosty, hoodie and pants, version 2 is here. Oh, what a blessed day. What a blessed day. <laughs> now, I think I think what pushed this was the recent DLC armor. So if you recall, we recently had the Ice, what was it, Ice King armor. So you got the throne here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, if you recall, a year ago, Mr. Bad Trip, he made... Some frosty skins. They sold quite nicely. And uh, we had tier 2 come out. And he submitted, way back when, some frosty hoodie pants and tier 3. And it was never accepted. And I was sad. And, well, just a few weeks ago, well, I mean, yeah, a few weeks ago, at the beginning of this month, Face Punch decided to make a uh, DLC armor, didn't they? It was the Ice King tier 3. And it pretty much looked like this. But a bit, bit more special in terms of they have that special uh, l it, it reflective light thing. It, me and Mr. Micro talked about it in the Saturday Skin Showcase. How light, how it responds to light and it, it, it kind of stands out very nicely. It kind of makes it look, look like it glows. But anyway, let's stop talking about DLC armor. Basically what happened was the DLC armor led to the kilt going up in price. Because nobody could really figure out what would be good to go with that tier 3 armor because of course it never came with the kilt as well so everybody opted to uh, buy out the frosty roadside pants and pair it up with that so perhaps it's not a good idea to make the uh, make a version 2 of the uh, well you could still do it frosty uh, tier 3 version 2 but it definitely feels like a great time to jump in and try and make a frosty hoodie and pants version 2 to pair up with the new ice king dlc and of course the uh, kilt so, yeah, that very likely could be the play. It very likely was the reason why they decided to make the hoodie in the pants. And I'm all for it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people are all for it, because this would be a continuation of the Frosty Collection, another core piece, and what does that mean? Well, that kilt very likely will be going up in price very nicely, and I'm pretty sure it already has. So we'll take a look at that in a minute, won't we? But, yeah, very nice I've waited for this for a very long time. <laughs> I have waited. And a lot of you have waited as well. But yeah, um, not sure why he doesn't have an image with the chest plate as well. But yeah, you've got the DLC face mask right there. And it, it does look good. It does look good. So I think that would pair very nicely with the hoodie and the pants. Face punch. Please consider it. Please. So yeah, very nice. And of course we've got the... Oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> yes, uh, well, it doesn't matter, because, yeah, you, you could see everything. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing. Yeah, okay, cool. So, very shiny pants. Cool, 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 cool. Gentlemen, if you like what you see, please consider voting for it. Vote yes or vote no. Now, we are going to talk about something I was looking forward to for a very long time. Well, not as long as Frosty, but you get the idea. Um, we knew how this was going to play out. Mr. Odyssey said it in his... Uh, comment section um yeah uh, so if you recall not too long ago we did see the likes of the elite crate uh tier 3 being accepted that was just before christmas and i told loads of people gentlemen this is what usually happens just before a holiday event we're only going to have holiday skins for the holiday event people are going to get a bit impatient they're going to get impatient and, well, the prices of the skins that, uh, that have literally just come out will go down in price. Me knowing this, 
I put down a fairly high buy order. So for my for my currency, I put a buy order down that was like 15 pennies cheaper than the price of the, what these were selling for in the Rust store. I bought them all. All of my buy orders went through, all right? Because I knew, I knew people were going to get impatient. Lo and behold, what do we see here? Da, 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 Perfect. Right, so we now have tier two literally submitted. And, well, do you honestly think people didn't react to it? Of course they did. Of course they did. There was a buyout for all of the tier three on the Steam market. Don't believe me? We're going to take a look at it in a minute. So thank you very much, Mr. Odyssey. And uh, that point I was trying to make, how about we do that real quickly? Let's just go over to here. Let's take a look at your workshop items. Let's go look at the face mask. Let's go look at the comments. And people were asking you, um, they were asking, are you going to continue the collection? Who do you pants soon, maybe? And he quite literally said, hey, look, there's two weeks of Christmas. So I'm going to take my time. Now we see it. Hurrah. So, gentlemen, please be aware of this more. When there is literally a holiday event, literally just around the corner, you've got to be patient, wait it out a bit, and eventually, eventually, the skin creator will make more of the collection. And what you've got to anticipate is other people will get impatient and they will dump, well, they will unload their stock onto the Steam market and move on because they think it's not going to come. But we knew there was going to be two weeks of Christmas early skins. Those fools, those fools have dumped. 60, well, like 70 skins of each into my hands. Now I will profit. So let's now show you the reaction, the spec, the anticipation reaction for the appearance of the Elite Crate Tier 2 and the Frosty Hoodie Pants version 2. So, ta da! What do I see on the front page earlier? There was a buyout for Elite Crate chest plate and face mask earlier. If I refresh, what do I see? Uh, well, it seems to have disappeared now because they all got bought out, didn't they? You know, it's not, it's not like you can buy more if, the, if all of them got bought out. Simple, isn't it? So, let's just go take a look at this. There's only 14 of these Elite Crate chest plates on the market. If I go to dollars, they're currently selling for $3.39. Why? Because they all got bought out, that's why. And, well, you know what? I'll refresh here and I'll refresh here just so we can get some more precise numbers for sales. So, right, yep, $3.39. I scroll down here. Do you see that jump? Do you see that jump, gentlemen? What do I see? A jump in sales. So, 26 of these got bought out. What likely happened is... Let's find out when this got submitted. This was submitted on the 26th. All right, yep, okay, so around then, and we all saw it yesterday around that time. Okay, yep, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, uh, around at some point on the 27th, people would have noticed. People were probably buying out a few of them, but then, yep, 35 sales, 26 sales. Fi over 50 of the stock got bought out today. Well, technically, yesterday. Technically, yesterday. Um, it's late for me now. It's like almost one thirteen. It's like it is one thirteen in the morning for me. Oh dear, I've been talking for so long. But yeah, I'm committed, and I want to make this more. I need to make you all more aware of how this works and whatnot. People notice these new skins being uh, being submitted for collections, and they make moves. Someone's just bought out over fifty stock. 50 quantity of the chest plates just a few hours ago. What about the face mask? So face mask right now, only has 20 on the market. $3.24 is the cheapest one. Buy orders haven't caught up to it just yet, but they very likely will soon. And they very likely, they, they, they definitely will if, uh, if we do see the tier 2 being accepted into a rust or rotation. But we go down here and the exact same thing happened. What do we see? It jumps up. So, sales, du, 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 one, two, one, blah, 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 then we go over to here, two, one, two, one, 28, 24, yep, the exact same thing happened. A lot of sales, a lot of purchases, someone bought out the stock, the price has gone up, now they're rubbing their hands and they're waiting in anticipation, hoping to see Elite Crate Tier 2 being accepted to a rust or rotation near you. Um, could it happen? Very likely could. Um, Face Punch recently have been very accepting for the Elite Crate collection, uh, a decent amount of weapon skins, and well, 
we've recently just had the tier three being accepted. I'm, I'm very, com- I'm, of course, I'm confident. I bought, I, 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 I with with Bioders, I bought a lot of these Elite Crate tier three pieces. So I really do think we're going to see some uh, Elite Crate hoodie pants, um, tier two or potentially hoodie pants being accepted soon. So yeah, this is the core pieces, and this is why we care. This is why we do the constantly keep an eye on the workshop. And uh, yeah, make some moves if you can. And of course, with the frosty hoodie pants, let's give this a nice refresh. Scroll down, 66 in the market. Cheapest one, $3.84. Yep, there was a buyout. Yes, the price went up. And yep, you can see that right there. So what do we initially see here? This was the uh, people jumping in, buying out the frosty kilts. When the... Uh, the uh, the DLC armor came out because, as I said, people were pairing this up with the uh, Ice King face mask and chest plate. It didn't come with a kilt, so people used Frosty Kilt with it. And, well, it did kind of go down in uh, interest, but what we did see right here... When did the Frosty Hoodie and Pants get... Uh, yep, so that's, that's the 26th around that time. So, yeah, on December 26th, spike in interest... And, well, the anticipators bought out a batch of the stock. Let's just uh, try and see if I can get some precise, pre- precise numbers. Doesn't look like I can get a big fat number here. But, yeah, people have been buying out the stock. And with not as much stock, the price has gone up. Well, the cheapest one is now $3.84. So if we potentially see frosty hoodie and pants being accepted then yeah yeah that's definitely going to go up even higher now you might sit there and say but what about the um the other tier two pieces well unfortunately you know people would rather use that dlc armor with it wouldn't they unless and and, and yeah if we did see frosty uh tier three also get submitted and accepted this is still going to get neglected the uh, coffee can helmets and the vests tend to be the least wanted uh, pieces for uh, armour and whatnot. And, you know, because of that, sometimes they end up becoming the most expensive pieces because not as many of them get bought when they're in the Rust store. And with less of them being available, the prices are fairly expensive. So, yep, just the usual silly things that happen with Ruskins every single week. So, that is that, gentlemen. I uh, tried my best to do what I could with my laptop here and uh, the equipment I brought with me. This is the usual routine. And if you uh, haven't watched this video, please consider watching my Start Following Rust Skin Creators on the Steam Workshop video. I greatly appreciate it. It's just under 10 minutes and you watch all of this and you too can quite literally set yourself up with a nice followed authors list get a good idea of what potentially has a genuine good chance of being accepted every single week. So all the skins here are by, uh, are skin submissions by people that have successfully made it to uh, TGG top picks previously. So they have the quality to get to that list and they surely have the quality to potentially have their skins accepted. And all of the skins I saw today looks like they have a very genuinely good chance of potentially being accepted. So... You know what you need to do now? You need to start considering all the skins that you want to vote for. So please go ahead and do that. And gentlemen, I hope you have had a lovely Christmas. I hope you have a happy new year. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Have a lovely day. Have You, you do what you can, right? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So thank you all for watching. Have a good one.